Hey, what's up, YouTube? We have to integrate sine x times the secant function all to the fifth power. Solution. So because we have a secant here and a sine, um, the secant function is kind of problematic. Let's go ahead and rewrite secant in terms of cosine. So secant x, it's equal to 1 over cosine x. So let's go ahead and write this as sine x times, and then it'll be 1 over cosine x to the fifth dx. Now you can just raise each piece to the fifth power. So this is sine x times 1 over cosine to the fifth power of x dx. And we can write this as a single fraction now. This is actually just sine x over cosine to the fifth power of x dx, piece of cake. So again, the intuition is you see the secant function, you see the sine function, and you want to just write it in terms of sine and cosine. That usually works. All right, so now we can make a u sub, right? Looks like we can let u be equal to cosine x. And so then the derivative of cosine is negative sine x dx. Now we don't have a negative in the integrand here. So what we'll do is we'll multiply both sides by negative one. So we have negative du equals sine x dx. All right, so now we can replace this sine x dx with negative du. So this is negative integral of du over u to the fifth. So to integrate this, what you can do is just bring it upstairs. This is negative integral u to the negative 5 du. And now we can just use the power rule, right, where we add 1 and divide. This should be negative, let's see, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. And then we divide by negative 4 plus our constant of integration, capital C. So now maybe we can combine the negatives. That'll give us a positive. Pull out the 1 fourth. Bring the u downstairs and make it positive. Make the exponent positive. And then maybe finish here. This is going to be uh, 1 fourth times 1 over cosine to the fourth power of x plus c. This is actually the secant function. If you want to be fancy, you can write this as 1 fourth secant to the fourth power of x plus c. Let's be fancy, like fancy people. <laughs> and that's it. I hope this video has been helpful.